Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be more of a realistic clean with me type video. I'm gonna share a few things that I do on my cleaning checklist for daily cleaning and then also a few things that I do weekly. Now, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I am so glad that you found me. I do lots of cleaning, organizing, and decorating here on this channel. So if you are into that kind of stuff, then I would love to have you as a subscriber and it's totally free to subscribe. It just lets you know whenever I post new videos. And if you are new, make sure to say hey and introduce yourself in the comments so that way we can get to know you better. And to all my returning subscribers, I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you're having an amazing week so far. Y'all let me know what you're doing while you're watching down in the comments. So one of the questions I have been seeing a ton lately in the comments and over on Facebook is how do you get motivated to clean? And honestly, if you've been around on my channel for a while, you've probably noticed that usually I start in my bedroom and I make my bed. And that is because when I make my bed, it just gets me started for the day and gets me motivated to start getting some things checked off of my to-do list. So making your bed every morning would be my first suggestion to getting yourself motivated. But another thing is, like I said, I make a to-do list and it just drives me crazy when I don't get things checked off. Now, most days I do not get everything checked off, but I do get a lot more done when I make a to-do list versus just thinking in my head, what am I supposed to do today? So definitely make a to-do list. And if you want even more accountability, then I would suggest putting your to-do list in the comments and letting us know what you got done after you're done watching or after you're done with your day or even go share it over on your Instagram stories and tag me. I would love to reshare your to-do to list and what you guys got accomplished. All right, so I told you making my bed first thing in the morning and making a to-do list are great ways to get motivated to clean. And the last idea that I wanna share with you is watching cleaning videos. So a lot of you are here just for the cleaning motivation and I love doing that too. I will watch other women clean their houses to get ideas or inspiration or even to remind myself of places that I need to clean that I probably haven't cleaned in a really long time. Now the awesome thing about YouTube is that there are so many women on YouTube that do cleaning videos and they all have their different way of doing things, their own styles, and so you should have plenty of cleaning motivation to watch any day of the week that you want to. And today I actually wanna introduce you guys to another YouTuber who does cleaning videos. Her name is Elizabeth. She does all kinds of cleaning, organization, home decor on her channel. So if you love my channel, then I know you guys are gonna love hers. And she's actually collaborating with me on today's video. So she is doing a cleaning video today as well. So as soon as you get done watching my video, I want you guys to go over to her channel check out all of her content, subscribe to her channel while you're there, and that way, anytime you need cleaning motivation, you're gonna have tons of videos to choose from. All right, so those are my three tips for getting motivated to clean. If you guys have any tips on ways that you get motivated, leave them in the comments so we can check them out. And now I'm gonna finish cleaning the rest of my house. been so loud before just trying to make you understand my ice and hands but you don't even hear my call and you make me wonder who i am do you know what i see i see myself cry and say you won't be say you won't be mad do you know what i feel i'm sick of all your lies just say you want me, say you want me, say you want me bad. Say you won't be mad. Just say you want me, say you want me bad. Do you know what I say? I see myself across. 
All right, so another thing that I try to do every single day is run our dishwasher at night. Now, if our dishwasher is not nearly full at all, then I won't run it, but most nights we run our dishwasher. That way I can unload it in the mornings and then we can put our dirty dishes in the dishwasher throughout the day instead of having them sit in the sink. I'm still waiting for you to say it, say it. Do you know what I see? I see myself cry and say you won't be, say you won't be mad. Say you, you won't know what be. I feel. Say you I'm sick of all your lies. Say Just it. say you say want it. me. Oh, say, say you want me. me. crazy I did have the air fryer cleaned but I actually took a break and ate lunch um, I usually eat like breakfast slash lunch around 11 o'clock so I used my air fryer again and now I'm having to rewash it so yes I took a little bit of a break and had something to eat and now I'm back to cleaning At the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy Now this is one of my favorite products to use in my sink on a daily basis. It's the baking soda cream cleanser. It's by Mrs. Myers. And if I'm not using this, then I will use Barkeeper's Friend usually a few times a week. But I love using this one daily. It smells so good and it really does a good job of keeping your sinks clean, especially if you have a white sink. But I've seen tons of my friends using it in their stainless steel sinks as well. Now, like I said earlier, I watch other YouTubers to get some tips and tricks, and this one I got from my friend Jamie from Jamie's Journey. She always cleans the head of her faucet, and so I never really think to do this in the kitchen. I do it in my bathrooms all the time, and I use this little tool. She also has this one, so I was like, oh, let's see what it looks like, and it was actually pretty gross, so I decided to go ahead and clean that, but definitely go check out her channel as well.
I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. And I wanna taste straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Alright, so our drying mat was looking a little nasty, so I decided to go ahead and throw that and some kitchen towels into the washing machine, and I'm gonna wash those really quick. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. I'm out of patience, I'm out of feels, but I guess I'm waiting. Now this is another product I've been using a lot lately. It's the Dawn Power Wash, and I'm just gonna use it here in my microwave really quick just to do a really quick cleaning. It's obviously not too, too bad, but I'm gonna clean in here really quick with this, but this also works really good in your sinks too. Now this is my all time favorite cleaning product for my stove, especially when it's super messy like it is today, and it's the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. I love using this because I feel like it does the best job at getting all that caked up gunk that gets on your stove top, getting it off easy. And so what I'll do is just spray it down and then I use a wet sponge to get all that stuff off and then I go back over it with a dry rag to clean it up. Now another product that I will use on my stovetop is the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner and I like to use that when it's not as messy because it still works really good. I just like the degreaser more for the big messes. But the good thing about the Jaws Cleaner is that I can actually go around my entire kitchen and clean it down really fast, use it for the countertops, for my appliances, and everything else. So I definitely recommend that product as well if you're trying to do a really quick clean throughout your kitchen. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in the so here's that product that I was talking about. It's the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner. I'm gonna actually go around and use it on all of my appliances because it is my favorite product to use for my appliances.
Now on my countertops today, I'm using the Caldrea countertop spray in the Basil Blue Sage scent. And this is the first time I've used this scent. I get this off of the Grove Collaborative website and I absolutely love these countertop sprays. I feel like I fell in love with them mainly because of their scents, but they do a really good job at cleaning too. what you think about me and I know I shouldn't care I really tried my best but I can't make you happy and I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this out because you know I tried the best I could I don't know And now for my wood countertops, I'm using the Method Daily Wood Cleaner, and this stuff is awesome. Obviously, my spray bottle's a little wonky. It sprays out really weird. Um, I think it's just the spray bottle that I got because the other ones don't spray like that. But this is in the almond scent, and it smells so good, and it's a great, great, great cleaner for any wood surfaces that you need to clean in your house. And I did it all for you, for you Yeah, we've been through this, I'm not the one you need right now And I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this out Because you know I tried the best I could all right, now I can move on to the vacuuming. I'm gonna vacuum my bedroom and then I'm gonna vacuum the rest of the downstairs. And then I'm also going to mop. Now this is my all time favorite vacuum ever. And if you watch all my videos, I'm sorry, you have to hear me talk about all these products all the time. But I honestly recommend these things to you because I love them so much and they make cleaning so much more enjoyable for me. And I want you guys to have that same feeling. So this vacuum is actually the Shark Uplight and it is corded, but it is super lightweight. It gets so much hair up. Look, that was only in my bedroom. And yes, Cooper spends majority of the time in my bedroom versus the rest of the house, but still that's so much dog hair. And I actually have a cordless vacuum that I use almost on a daily basis. So that's after using the cordless vacuum every single day. That's how much dog hair it gets up. And so you're going to see I'm vacuuming this face and I'm going to vacuum just this rug right here and then show you how much I get up just from vacuuming this rug too. But if you're looking for this vacuum, I always find the cheapest price at Walmart. I do have a link for it down in my description box. It's a different color than the one that I have, but it's the exact same vacuum. It's time for you. Won't you get on my way? Get on my way. I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. I wasted all my time. I wasted all my nights. Someone who's indifferent He didn't love me right He told me I was blind But I never really wanted to listen
Okay, so now that the vacuuming is done, it's time to mop the floors, and I have the O Cedar Spin Mop. I love this because I have several different, I think I have like four different mop heads, and I just use them and wash them over and over and over again. And then for my wood floors and even in my bathrooms, I like to use Pine Sol just because I really love the smell of it and I know that it's disinfecting my floors and I only mop my floors once a week. I know some people mop it more often than that, but that's how often I do my floors. So I definitely want to be disinfecting as I'm cleaning them. All right, so that's all the cleaning that I ended up getting done on this day because it was about time for me to go get the kids from the bus stop. And then usually by that time I'm done, I do not wanna do any cleaning after the kids get home. So the next day I actually ended up cleaning the bathroom. So you're gonna see that in just a minute. Now I wanted to point out that I still have all of my winter decor. I took down all the Christmas stuff, but anything wintry I still have up. And I really need to start thinking of how I wanna decorate for spring. So if you guys have any ideas of what I could do in here in this room instead of these signs, y'all let me know down in the comments. I did make these. I also have another sign that I made when we first moved into the house, but I don't know. I kinda wanna do something different. All right, so now it's the next day, and the only thing that I had to clean today was my master bathroom. I did end up cleaning both the master and the guest bathroom downstairs, but I used the exact same products in the other bathroom, so I did not end up sharing that because I was in a hurry to get that done. 
and so it takes a lot longer to actually clean and film at the same time rather than just cleaning. So anyways, I'm in my master bathroom and I'm gonna start by taking everything off the counters, taking out our towels so that I can throw those in the washing machine. And inside of my sink, I'm using the Jaws Disinfecting Cleaner. And then on my mirrors, I am using the Jaws Glass Cleaner. Oh, and another Jaws Cleaner that I'm gonna be using is the Jaws Granite Cleaner on the granite countertops. Now I'm actually taking my little rugs out of here as well. I'm gonna wash those and then I'm using my cordless vacuum here to do a quick vacuum here on the floors and then I'm also gonna vacuum back behind the bathtub before I clean the inside of the bathtub. Now here in my tub, I'm using the bath and shower cleaner. I use this in my shower as well. It's from Jaws and it's like a foaming spray. It works really, really good on soap scum. And it's one of their newer products they came out with a few months ago. And so I've been loving it so far. I'm thinking back on all those times When I felt close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself Now for my toilet, I always take a piece of toilet paper and wipe down the top of it first just to get all the dust off. And then I go back over it with a Clorox wipe to clean the whole outside of the toilet and the toilet seat. And then I'm gonna use the Clorox toilet bowl wand to clean the inside. I've been using these for probably, I don't know, maybe a year now. And you can see our toilet gets so dirty, so stinking fast on the inside. We have really hard water, so it gets dirty pretty fast. But I've been loving these Clorox wands. I just clean it down really, really quick and then throw the thing away and obviously dripped all over the floor but that's okay because i'm about to mop in here <laughs> 
Um, but those toilet bowl cleaners save me so much time and they smell amazing. Now I've pulled out my O Cedar Spin Mop again. I have hot water with pine saw and a fresh new mop head and I'm gonna just mop down the bathroom. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for this cleaning video. I hope it gave you tons of cleaning motivation, some tips, some tricks, some new products to try, and hopefully you guys are ready to start cleaning now and getting some things checked off your to-do list. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe before you leave, and y'all don't forget to go check out my friend Elizabeth's channel. I will have her video down in the description box, and she's gonna give you guys some cleaning motivation too. I know you guys are gonna love her, and make sure to subscribe to her while you're there and tell her that I sent you over. I hope y'all have an amazing week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!